Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm your host, Corey Nockreiner. Today, let's talk about Forbes' big watering hole attack. According to research from iSight Partners in Invincia, Back in December, Forbes suffered what's known as a watering hole attack. This is where a legitimate site gets targeted and forced to serve malware so that its victims or visitors come and are victimized by the malware. So here's what kind of happened. Forbes has a thought of the day widget and these bad guys were able to infect this thought of the day widget with a zero day flash vulnerability. So that if you visited the site and saw the thought of the day and you didn't have a patched version of flash which didn't exist at the time, it would leverage this flaw to take over your computer and install malware. However, in order to get past Windows's security mechanisms, it also had to take advantage of a zero day internet explorer flaw to turn off something called Windows ASLR, which is kind of a memory bypass security feature. In any case, according to these researches, this allegedly Chinese attack only targeted certain Forbes visitors, specifically some defense contractors and financial services. So this is pretty scary. Watering hole attacks are dangerous. What can you learn from them? Well, there's two things. First of all, you have to realize that every website out there is a potential risk. Even the legitimate ones you trust may be booby-trapped. That's why you should never browse the web without protections. And a firewall is not enough. A firewall is going to allow you to access the web on port 80. You need more next generation firewall services like intrusion prevention, advanced threat protection, anti-malware, reputation services, and other things that can clean the web traffic as you're going and visiting potentially dangerous websites. The other thing you should do is make sure to always keep your browser and related software up to date. While patching software won't always help in these zero day attacks, the huge majority of attacks actually use known flaws. So patching will help you in most cases. Well, that's all for today's story. Thanks for watching.